Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content such as Camp Zero Base 117's Nana Tour, 17 in the Sioux, Finding Stray Kids, Black Pink House, EXO's Ladder, EXO Showtime, A Pink Showtime, and tons of other content including extra variety shows, K dramas, animes, and movies. Hey guys, Angie here, and today we are checking out Extraordinary Heroes. So we are all aware that the album is a collection of the songs they released. I saw some people upset that like it was those songs. And as someone who is notorious for being upset when you know how many songs are on an album and then you find out they're songs from like another album, i.e. like Los Out of Famous stuff, when they had like, oh, full length album, and it turns out it was just like a bunch of their other songs with like four new songs. I will defend this one, maybe because I'm biased, but also because they've been working their asses off. We already had a great full length album earlier this year, and it's so good that the songs still feel new to me. And we had a new song like every couple weeks. So I'm not mad about it. I'm actually surprised we're even getting two new songs. Um, well, three, but like besides the title track, we have Feeling Nice and Symphony, but with the X? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that word. I don't know if that's even a word, but um, looking forward to it. I just listened to Seventeen's album and it was great. So I'm in a great mood. Um, and I'm trying to be happy because we've had so many fucked up stuff happening with Sung Han from Rise. Uh, so thank God two of my favorite groups, Seventeen and Extreme Heroes, had album releases today because it's been rough. It's been rough. It's been rough. Send love to Sung Han, please. Um, even if you don't like Rise, he needs it. Like, it's so sad. It's so sad. He's trained for like six years. Didn't debut in NCT even though he was supposed to in their new unit. Gets put in Rise. Then after two months, gets put on hiatus for fucked up reasons. Then after ten months, comes back. Then after two days, is kicked out again. And I just think even if you don't like Rise, please just send him love. Um and yeah like i don't know where to be honest because thankfully the actual nice korean fans and even people who aren't fans of rise but live in korea they're sending lots of love on like this wall that he used to visit for like um when people were sending support to him but i don't know find we gotta find a way <laughs> but anyways we're trying to be happy and extraneous heroes are here so i'm excited so let's hop into the video so they didn't write this song this is the only song they didn't write. Oh, what the fuck? Night before the end. Sounds so spooky. Oh, wow. June's still in his acting era. Some lady named Jennifer wrote the song and it wants to get Oh. Oh. Whoa, that came in so clearly. Wait, wait. Oh. Oh, I love the hair. Oh, the hair don't see it. Okay. It's 
Are they the butterflies or are the other ones the butterflies? Because in the beginning he had butterfly wings. Oh, they look like, um, <laughs> have you seen Brad's fashion pictures? If I see wings, I just think of that. It's like my favorite rest movie. Um, it's them. It's, it's literally them. Is it not? Am I wrong? Are these not like our bad bitches? Like... Just saying, just saying. Well, jokes aside though, beautiful song. I am very interested in the fact, like, there, there seems to be a switch up with their debut tracks. Or debut, their title tracks. Like, I feel like we had, like, hardcore, like, like, uh, haircut, um, a happy death day test me. But then the past two have been more slow, emotional. Not a problem, just it's, I find that interesting. Because it doesn't matter because, like, the B-sides go hard. So if, if you don't love their slower title tracks, their B-sides are, like, really upbeat and fun and aggressive. But then if you like their hardcore title tracks, the B-sides are very soft and um, ballast and stuff. So it's, like, it doesn't really matter to me because I don't care which one's the title track at the end of the day because you get what you get. And I, I like their slow songs and I like their upbeat songs um but i just noticed there's like a there was like an abrupt shift to the past two comebacks um i'm wondering how some people feel about that um especially those who constantly watch like comeback shows and stuff because I, I i don't really um so it doesn't really bother me <laughs> but definitely i think it's very beautiful what is this Love, live in fall, live in fall, the build up of live in fall. We gotta watch that, saving it. Um, mm. But that was beautiful. I also love it wasn't two minutes long. So they did partake on writing. I love it just says extraordinary heroes for credits, like just extraordinary heroes, not like Gion, Boda, or anything. See, like if I'm like, oh, I kind of want a hardcore song, got one. Want a slower song, got the title track, it's cool. I've been missing the little squeakies. I've been missing the squeakies. But GM would do that though. Sounds better on the seven. Just very aggressive. Oh, that was cool. I've never heard that before. Odo looks so pretty in this picture, by the way. It's like strawberry cake and cracking the mirror have a baby. 
Maybe. It's slow. Oh, I, I'll just give you chills. I'll just give you chills. I'll just give you chills. That was. That gave me like actual chills. I like actually have chills. Can you see them? <laughs> oh, I did not like a rhythm to this. Oh, there is. Sorry, there's Saul. Okay, but for this song, it just says I can read your eyes. The song kind of gives me anxiety though. <laughs> so I feel like it just keeps going. I was like, you only breathe? I love this part. I'm not surprised if some of these are wrong. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. I don't know what this means. I will find out. Context clues. Do not look so pretty. Look at him. Are those those pimple stars? <laughs> It kind of has spooky vibes. It has spooky vibes. I love it. Is it like an instrument so? Okay. Nope. The only thing that pops up is them. Oh, I love it. My dreams have come true. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Don't mind me. It's okay. It's fine. I'm just... I love a good spooky song. Don't mind me. I get emotional, okay? Leave me alone. I I love a good spooky song. But they're so far and few in between. Like, you get, like, like, one spooky song a year. Maybe. From, like, one group. Maybe. If you're lucky. And Extreme Heroes have tickled the spooky spooky little bone in my body like that like i'm like i can have enough little spooky vibes from them but this this gives me such halloween spooky vibes and my birthday is the day before halloween so it personally just makes me happy and like that whole part like we're going back like that just i am pleased i'm satisfied i could die happy now <laughs> Like when I heard the instrument, I was like, oh, but then Jun served. He's. I'm so happy. Oh my god, this is like my favorite song this year. I'm shaking. I feel like it's been a while since this. Oh, this song is so good. I can't. 
I can't. Like, I want a Halloween video of this. Like, a Halloween music video. They probably won't. I understand why Blake can't own it. Like, we're only a minute in. How do I live? How do I make it? <laughs> this, oh my god, this song is so good. It's like, it's been so long since the song has made me feel this way. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to this all the time. I hope Jungsoo comes in and does that fast singing he did. I'm sweating. <laughs> the song is so good. My heart's like racing. Is it over? No, surely not. What is this? It's like some Black Hot Nettles stuff. What do you call this? This song is crazy. Is that Jumpsuit? They're never the same as live. I have lost hope. It's, it's too exhausting. Do, oh, they do, but they do live clips. Surely we're gonna get a live clip. I'm out of breath for them. This is my favorite story. This made my life. <laughs> Life is worth living for this song. <laughs> Life is worth living for this song only. What is it? I paid no mind to those lyrics. I looked at those lyrics not once. Not once. I just listened to that song. This song has brought me happiness in ways I didn't know it was possible. You know, like, like... Am I insane or was that not like the best song ever? I don't care. You know, I don't care what anyone thinks. Because to me, that song was so fucking good. Like, like, that song was so good. I don't understand how we got that song. <laughs> Like, I need to, like, sit with my thoughts, almost. Like, I don't even know what it is. Is it the keyboard? The, was that, like, was that Oda just going off on that? Like, you, you know I don't know instruments. <laughs> that, it, it was a, a piano or keyboard, because I think they're kind, of, they're kind of the same. I know that there's some music people off, I'm sorry. But, like, it was that, like, that the whole time. Like, like you know, like, in classical music that they play in the background of movies and stuff and it's like the organ and stuff and it's like spooky and like was that oda because i know keyboard like there's programs you can do to make them make certain like that was that was he just going off on that like like that was so good and then it was just jian and jungsu like they just nailed it like i i just didn't even i don't understand that's the end story here i don't understand but i loved it but now 
I'm hoping uh, I'm gonna watch it. Uh, apparently they look really tired in it. And I don't blame them because they've been having a busy year. That's why I'm not mad we only got three songs. And I don't fucking care because the three songs we got were so good. So good. Especially, I'm gonna call it Symphony. I don't know what to call it. That song was so good. I need to know how to pronounce it because I need to declare it my favorite K pop song ever. It's not a K pop song, I'm sorry. I guess I'll call it. I don't know. Whatever. Like, you know how I feel about the whole K-pop, K-band thing. <laughs> it's, it's the same thing. Like, they're under JYP. To me, I'm, I'm going to call it K-pop. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm kind of exhausted. That exhausted me. Let me know if that is also your favorite Xperia Hero song. Or is it just me? <laughs> um, the other songs were good, too. That one it just kind of made the other ones go whatever. <laughs> but definitely excited for any content we get. I've been teasing the fact that I will be doing the, uh, their concert, basically. I don't know when. <laughs> I'm hoping it's soon. Uh, it was, I was trying to do it before the comeback, but, you know, life gets away. I told you guys in other videos, this will be a very busy three months for me because my birthday, mom birthday, grandma birthday, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Christmas. Like, it's a lot. So just bear with me. But that kind of got me amped up. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready to check out their live stages again. Um, if there's a live clip, we'll be watching it immediately. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.